Hey everybody, it's Jerry. I don't think you can see this too good, but see this thing right here? This is the perimeter alarm that uh, Kim Kingsbury sent to me with another little box of goodies. It's awesome. Thank you again. I'm going to show you how this thing works. Uh, here's the shaft of it. This is the firing pin. It comes down to about about right in here, right now. When it's when it's cocked like this, it comes down to about about right here. And this is the pin. This is I guess is uh the trigger maybe I guess what you call I don't know what you'd call it. But and here is the tip. This screws up in there. My tripod isn't very big, so I can't just extend it and show you how, you know, from the floor, it's pretty high. All right, here, right here, are the firing caps. It's just like a blank, you know, a bullet blank. And it goes... See, this is how this is what the top looks like. But anyway, it just sits right in there like that, just like a bullet would. I don't know if I can hold this, and I'll try it. The thing goes in there. All right, I got it. All right, it screws in like that. Turn you around a little bit. All right, when I pull this, this little pin out, well, the, the way you would set this up is you would attach this to the tr a tree or something, and with like maybe a trip wire coming from this pin. Coming from this pin right here. And whenever the animal or whatever is uh what wh whatever, you know, you're you're trying to deter or whatever you want you want to call it. Whenever it trips the wire, whenever it, it, it trips over the wire or whatever, then uh this pin will be pulled out, which makes the, the the firing pin snap down real hard into into the cap, and it makes a, a bang. I want to show you how to do that right now. But before I do that, before I before I show you, I've had a few of these, and uh, you know they they wasn't this tight. They were they were like the uh, rectangle looking type. I, I don't know the name of them, but uh, the way I always set them is maybe like a foot or a little better than a foot off the ground. That way, raccoons or possums or, or some, you know small animals they wouldn't set it off. Something big like a, a coyote or a bear or a panther or you know. It will. <laughs> it definitely will. But you now this is how it works. I'm gonna pull the pin. Get you a good angle there. Whenever I pull the pin, that's going to simulate something. You know, a uh, something running into into your trip wire. Something runs into it. The pin gets pulled. And there you go. That's what happens. I like those things a lot. I've I've lost everyone that I've ever had, you know, back at camps or or just playing around with them. But I'll try not to lose this one. I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, get me a few more of these too. I, it's you know I, I like them a lot. Actually, I already ordered a couple, so I mean, 
good shape. But that's what I want to show you. These things are pretty nice. They're handy to have. And that's about it. They're pretty safe, you know. You're not really going to get hurt, maybe burnt a little, if you're not careful. But that's about it. But all right. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.